This is Ryan Nelson. 95 down the pipe, but it's past Profar. I mean, it's after watching Hunter Brown just now, right? It's, but ooh, that's 97, but it's down and not a good spot. Now, the, the biggest worry I have about him, and that's a big breaker, but like not in the zone. And you got the shuffle coming from Soto. Uh, I want you guys to notice how slow, how slow it is. And actually, you know what? I'm going to go back to the previous one here. Okay, here he is. So it's slow as he goes, and then it speeds up really quickly. Right? And I'm going to go frame by frame here. And I want you to see how fat, my God, like so much is happening so quickly. And that creates an issue with timing traditionally of, you know, when you deliver a baseball, you're trying to get to a very specific spot at the exact right time. So that all your force is there and you deliver it exactly as you want. The faster that is of, of, of whipping this arm around, Right, the uh, this process from here to there, the more opportunity there is to fail at replicating the release point. Does that make sense? It's just harder to do it if you're going like really, really, really fast, and it makes me a little bit hesitant of Nelson getting the uh, consistency back. Right, I mean that's 96 right past Juan Soto though, I and mean, that's kind of cool, right? And there's 97. He just threw that in there. Uh, and there's 97 popped up. I mean, that's three straight heaters kind of in the middle of the zone to the one Soto. And was he get it as a pop-up? It's kind of wild, right? Now, that we're going to see a lot of that. And that's the thing is, a pitcher should never, should never spike a fastball. They should never do that. The only times you spike a fastball is if you have jitters and you're overthrowing. And look, it's his MLB debut. I get that. I do wonder if it is a little bit of a product of that super fast delivery as well. And we might see it more. You know? But pitchers should never spike fastballs. In the same way that they should never throw it up here, they should never throw it down here. I mean, it's a fastball. Like, you've done this for so long. You should never spike it. You can throw it low, but not in the dirt, you know? And there's there's the curveball actually landing in, and that's pretty cool. And going from 77, 95 to 77 is pretty good, you know? And then he spots it at the bottom and matches it. It's pretty cool. Now what do you do? And you throw another one down there. Oh, that's a little low, but all right. I mean, that's, that's a look at Ryan Nelson, right? I uh, I don't think this is as real as we want it to be. It's I wonder also really being really high up on that release point makes it so that the you know the fastball doesn't get as many whiffs up here. It is hard, but I feel like you know we saw with Profire single like it's kind of hunable at times. I mean, well, Soto didn't do, it, but I think it was thinking too much secondary in that at bat. Um, I think it's a little too volatile for my tastes. He did not do well in the minors. We're talking like a 5-plus ERA, terrible whip. Like, not this kind of performance in the minors. I think it's going to be a little bit rough for him. Um, but, all right, that's going to do it. My name is Nick Pollock. May your babs be below and your strikeouts high. So you see you guys later.